Once you have separated the various UV clusters, you need to adjust them to minimize distortion and pack them into the UV area. Continue working on your file, or you can use the file named column packuvs.max you downloaded for this tutorial. Make sure the UV editor is open, as you need to work on the clusters you created. All of these clusters need to go into that small checkered square area. There are automated ways to pack UVs, but I for one don't like them much. I prefer organizing the packing manually, so I can favor those parts that are more visible in the scene, such as the main shaft. In fact, let's start with that. Select all the polygons that make that cluster. To pack it in such a way that distortion is minimized, you need some kind of texture to act as a guide. From the drop-down menu at the top right corner of the UV editor, choose the option Checker Pattern, even if it already seems selected. The column now has a gray and white checkered pattern applied to it. You may want to disable Shade the Selected Faces, F2, to see the pattern better. Next, use Freeform Mode to adjust the cluster into the packing area. As this is an important piece, it will take much of that space. However, you'll need to narrow it down so the checkered pattern shows squares rather than rectangles. This is done by holding Shift and moving the corner grips in the UV editor. Next, select the cluster that represent the curved part of the capital. Adjust that cluster in the top right side of the packing area and make sure the checkered pattern is adjusted to show squares. Next, adjust the dumbbell-like faces. First, put them on top of one another to scale them equally and then pack them into the UV area. Avoid overlap. You can rotate one of them 180 degrees to save space. Use angle snap, A, to rotate in 5 degree increments. The rest of the procedure is pretty much the same, meaning it's a question of adjusting the size of a cluster and set it in the packing area. Try to keep the checkered pattern at roughly the same size throughout. Once you are done, exit the UV editor and collapse the stack once again. The UVs will be baked and preserved onto the poly object. In the next movie, you use Render to Texture to extract normal maps by projecting data from the high poly components onto the low poly column.